Afizi Ramli reveals that the Malaysian Anti-Corruption Commission only investigates one out of every five tip-offs it receives. In 2012, out of 6,475 information or tips received by SPRM, only 20% of that, which is 1,304, which resulted in the next step, which is uh, investigation. Maknanya, setiap kali ada lima laporan ataupun maklumat yang dibuat kepada SPRM, empatnya menjadi no further action. He says compared to Hong Kong's anti-corruption authority, the Independent Commission Against Corruption, the Malaysian counterpart fares poorly. Berbanding dengan ICAC, daripada 4,010 maklumat yang diterima dalam tahun 2011, 3,072 dibuka file dan disiasat. Rafizi says the data backs the public perception of MACC's inefficiency. Ini satu angka dan juga keadaan yang perlu diambil tindakan segera oleh Datuk Paul Lau dan beliau perlu menjawab kalau tidak kredibiliti beliau akan hilang dengan begitu cepat kerana inilah masalah utama yang membentuk persepsi rakyat yang tidak yakin dengan SPRM. He also says MACC has a lower conviction rate compared to Hong Kong's ICAC. Not only that ICAC receive more tip-off, open more files, investigate more cases, in the end it also resulted in more conviction rate. And these are the traits that make one corruption, uh, anti-corruption commission more reliable, trustworthy and having credibility in the eyes of the public compared to what we have in Malaysia. Rafizi says he'll continue to observe these figures in order to inform the Dewan Rakyat so that the government will be able to act on it. Prasad Michael, Kini TV.